Egypt's former president, Mohamed Morsi, has been sentenced to 20 years in pr prison on charges linked to the killing of protesters in 2012. Now let's take a look at the ousted leader's rise and fall. Well, local media report pro-Islamic protests broke out in Cairo after the verdict was announced. Beltru has more details on the sentence handed down to the deposed leader. Supporters of Mohamed Morsi were on tender hooks today as they waited to find out if he did indeed face the gallows. The charges against him citing to kill protesters for a 2012 clash here in Cairo outside the presidential palace are severe. He could have been given the death penalty, but surprisingly he wasn't. He was given just 20 years in jail. The judge, who was regarded as being relatively lenient by supporters of the government, who of course are against Mohamed Morsi, he did rule that uh, Mohamed Morsi and his um, fellow Muslim Brotherhood leaders uh, were not guilty of murder charges. Instead, they had uh, egged on some Mohammed Morsi supporters to be violent towards anti-government protesters, but not to actually commit murder. Mohammed Morsi is facing two other trials for espionage, um, and uh, which are also carry the death penalty. He's also being charged uh, with a prison break in 2011. So there's some serious trials that he's also facing, but yet this judge decided not to send him to the gallows. It could be because there is still significant support for Mohammed Morsi here in Egypt and abroad, and perhaps. Perhaps the authorities don't want to risk seeing further violence across the country if they do uh, let him hang. But for the moment, Mohamed Morsi isn't going anywhere. Like I said, he's got two more trials against him. They mm. are serious charges. So we'll have to see how they uh, turn out. And of course, there's always plenty more stories.